didn't look at his name until I moused over. Like, you could see it on the screen. Like, <laughs> I moused over it to figure out what it was. Because I literally didn't look. I somehow didn't see in the lobby. I didn't look at the loading screen. I was too enticed with Team Beard and all the other things. And... Focus. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we're in um, This lag is pretty serious coming up from, like, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll deal with it. The lag, so you know, on... On screen, I don't believe it's me because I can still hear liaison, and liaison can still hear me. Um, and it doesn't actually look like we're losing any actual frames in game. It's just you know jumping. Might be a uh, little ugly for a it little bit. It might be a it might be a might be a battle net thing to tell you the truth because I saw chaos lag, and then lipo lagged as well. And I've had a couple of network spikes, so it might just be a battle net thing. Um, battle net's good like that sometimes, but. Yes, and he is complaining about the lag a little bit. I'm not sure what it's going to be or what it will affect. But, I mean, in terms of what's happening, at least for right now, it is certainly not uh, not a really big deal for right now. Hopefully it's not chaos. Oh, Actually, and Canadian bad Canadian internet. They always blame, blame uh. it on Canada. Always. Well, if you live there, it's like a cop-out. But either way... Um, we do have Moto K going for, he went for gas first, and he's getting Marines out, so he's going for a super fast factory. We see the factory slightly later on the back end of Chaos, but he, what he did that was really interesting was he sent his SCV over, like, on, like, 10 or 11. Like, he, he sent it out really early, um, to just get a really good look out and see what his opponent is doing, and if you check out, you know, Moto K's vision, he hasn't scouted at all. So his build, he's just kind of doing his thing, he wants all his SCVs mining and or building, and, um, you know, it's pretty cut and dry what he's going to end up doing. we got the reactor coming down on the barracks. So, um, well, if Chaos does decide to go for Hellion, it's going to need some sort of engineering bay or something down. Because it does look like we're going to be seeing Cloak Banshees coming down from Moto K with the Tech Lab. Hopefully, or, you know, should be coming down momentarily on the factory. Yes, and absolutely. You saw that second gas go up. So, you know, odds were pretty good. That's where it was going in Chaos. Going to th throw up that expansion. So, how does this play out? Take us through a liaison a little bit. He's going to have Cloak Banshees coming across the map. It looks like Chaos will have plenty of Marines, but is this something where he's in trouble? I mean, I he's got to Yeah, I mean, I, I think Chaos, Chaos is in a pretty decent spot here with the Marines coming out of the reactor now. That's definitely, I think, the correct decision. The Widow Mine is going to hope for basically just like a super clutch shot um, on the Banshee. It can't one-shot a Banshee, but it can get it into the red pretty much straight away. Um, so it just it, it basically neutralizes it for all intents and purposes. Um, there's no starport, interestingly enough, just now going down. So um, I don't think he'll have a Viking out in time. But uh, yeah, and where he places his widow mine is going to be really interesting as well. You don't want to put it in like an awkward or in an obvious spot. You know, you kind of want to put it in an awkward spot. Was what I was trying to say. Um, because if it's in the obvious spot, they're probably just going to go around it. And this is actually a pretty nice position in the mineral line. Um, it's going to be hidden by the SCV, so, you know, maybe he won't even see that it's there to trigger, and he could, you know, really neutralize that Banshee pretty quickly. Yeah, and that's absolutely correct. I mean, this flight path, it's one of those things. This flight path is going to be very, very clutch in terms of where exactly this Banshee goes. Uh, and now a Raven coming out. I do love how Raven has really kind of come back in, probably, you know, this year. It used to not quite as much be a thing, but... I love me some ravens, and uh, it looks like he's coming in the lower section of the base, so we'll see if this Widow Mine was good placement well, or not. Comes. Oh, it dances on the edge. Oh, it's so close. Yep. Oh, it but, needs a... Uh, 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 really nice micro here from Moto K. Like, really nice micro. Yeah, it reminds me of back in the day. Oh, no, uh -oh. and can it just get shot down? Looks like oh, it just barely out. got out. It reminded me, did you ever but, play the StarCraft Master game where you had to micro that Banshee and you can actually kill almost infinite number of Marines? But it has to be, you have I don't to be think I, perfect. I don't think I did. Oh, it's, I don't think I did ever play it, but that sounds like uh, something that would greatly help my TVT. The Banshee does end up going down there in the back of the natural. Um, using another scan, though, and I think Moto K is a little bit frustrated by kind of the latency that's coming out. Definitely affecting his Banshee micro, and he's going to be going for... Um, a kind of a follow-up push here potentially with some siege tanks coming out and now Vikings and 
Um, to go with what you were mentioning about the Raven, the Raven has become pretty mandatory in TV uh, TVT just early on in the game because of you know if you see what Motoke is doing, he's getting a couple extra Viking or, or a Viking out, and you know with the point defense drone to neutralize your opponent's Viking fire, you need you know that Raven to help you really uh, win the air battle and, and take air control early on. And this is an interesting choice here, going for the super early third command center, kind of knowing he needs to get something done economically uh, because he delayed his natural for so long, but he's continued to produce workers really nicely here, and he's uh, he, he's actually up a worker here despite having that um, significantly later natural. Yeah, and he's going to be down by just a bit and not too long, and obviously down in the mineral production and things, but I mean, he has to do something to catch up just a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, all great points. Uh, the Raven, much like a sentry, getting it out early so he can build up a good amount of energy in case there was anything early coming on. And it looks like this game is going to go a little bit more into long form as n neither player is really banking on doing any sort of devastating damage here in the near future. Yeah, it seems to really have stabilized here. The Banshee's going to take a, a look over by the third base and not see anything. that The third base actually hasn't started. Chaos adding additional barracks here. He's only on one right now. His stim is going to be pretty delayed as he hasn't started, but he's getting plus one. This Banshee's getting a couple of nice kills. And I mean, that micro there from Motoke is just really nice controlling that. Didn't actually eat a single shot, and he actually decloaks as well, knowing that it was going to run out before he was going to be able to do anything else. And he's getting a second Banshee going across the map. This is really, really cool play here. Um, you might see this more often from a player going kind of a delayed cloak Banshee, but he went for the Banshee first, went away from it, and is now going back to it. So these are like super mind games coming out from Motoke. Yes, absolutely. And a little bit rough. I just realized that when I mouse to the right, uh, I don't have edge scrolling on the right side of my monitor. So hopefully that doesn't come into play. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna not have to do that. Ooh, and taking some shots here, but with the cloak, we'll see what he can do. See if that widow mine placement he, comes into play, but it looks like it will not. Delays the third base really nicely as well. I really like Motoke's position here. Not only does he have these two banshees to keep his opponent in his base, Chaos can't go anywhere with these banshees out on the map like this, even with the missile turrets. Um, he's forcing scans, as we just saw that one in the main. Uh, the Banshee in the natural now has 10 kills. 11 kills make it 12. I mean, it's just um, worth its weight in gold here with this micro. And uh, he's getting 1-1 one, one behind this. His stim is almost done. We only see a, a single engineering bay actually researching for chaos, although he has both of them. So, um, well, now he can possibly start 2-1, but... Uh, Motoke has got his third base finished. It's floating on over. He's up six workers. He's got a bigger army. He's just in a really solid spot here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I thought for a second he was going to do a really cute play and try to pull Chaos's Viking to the natural, which he did, and then send the other Banshee back in. And it looks like it might work since he's coming across. Oh, and just now, Chaos, by the way, restarted that third. And there is oh, a Banshee man. that might delay it yet again. And the fourth and fifth barracks coming down. You really wanted this third base finished before those started, and they're going to be delayed as well. Chaos's production is just kind of in shambles right now as far as his transitions. He's stuck basically on this tech, on this uh, production speed. He's clearly taking the gold as he takes tries to take both gases, but even those are going to be delayed here. And those are all SCVs that are just... Yeah, he doesn't want to replace him. He's gone down 15 workers now in this game. Yeah, and yeah, by the I, way, I, still I, just now getting an SCV on that third again. So, unbelievably good delay tactics by Moto K. Just making I mean, his opponent killed, angry. I mean, there's nothing else to it. He's killed 20 workers and lost none, and he's up by 18 workers. So that, I mean, those are the numbers right there. That's, that's StarCraft by the numbers, and he's got a pretty... Uh, solid supply lead, 35 supply, and 1-1 uh, finish, 2-2 two, two on the way, combat shields finishing up, and this is exactly where he wants to be, and I think Chaos is feeling like he needs to uh, do something, he's going to load up a drop and send it north and try to, uh, well, possibly get some, some damage done with that, but he's actually just going to drop it in his main base because he just feels the need to defend because, again, his uh, command center just now finishing up, it got delayed another time, and he may even have to force this as a planetary at his third, so he'll only have two orbitals. Yeah, and I mean, with all this extra time, I mean, if you look at the just sheer numbers in terms of mineral income, 2,800. I mean, just with those obviously inflated with mules and things, but that little amount is, I think, is just going to amount to a huge Moto K push because he doesn't want him to have this gold base. 
and we'll see if he can just deny it by the sheer numbers as you said i mean he's up by a solid 15 marines he's got equal numbers of tanks that extra raven and an extra medevac but uh we'll have to see yeah we've got chaos again that kind of the feeling the need to do something is actually taking another base his fourth base down at the kind of conventional safer base and all these scvs are biting the dust again here uh, eight more of them do fall with these siege tanks sieged up over here with the medevacs providing high ground support. The marines engage here. It's 1-1 one, one against 2-1, so an upgrade advantage here for Chaos. But are there just too many marines here for Moto K? Not in range of the siege tank fire, but they are just continuing to shell down damage onto the worker line and actually forcing the lift off on that base. So, um, you know, was it the most cost efficient trade here for, for Moto K? No, but it didn't need to be, quite frankly. He's still got double the army supply and almost double the worker supply. He's up 31 workers and 47 army. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at his production, it's just a little bit higher across the board. As we have the top, you know, two factories to one, seven barracks to five, etc. And those things just I mean, just look at his roll. main base, right? Like, it's just lines of production facilities protected by turrets. Like, he's in such an awesome spot here. And it looks so pretty. I mean, give him lots of credit for that SimCity. Yeah, absolutely. And here, this is where he's going to try to break through and actually get to the tanks. The Marines he's not so worried about. He wants to take down this tank number. And he didn't lose any of his own. Very, very important there. But yeah, I mean, and two two was finished as well. So he's just in. You know, his Marines now trading more cost efficiently as well. And these siege tanks will siege up on the the low ground here. The SCVs pulled off. Uh, Chaos taps out.